Hello and welcome to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ, and as you can see, I am sitting in front of my movie corner. I have my casino movie right here, and I have a box and an unboxing knife, which means it is time to unbox another game. Yes, this game is something that is really, really interesting, okay? It's the reason why I have casino here, and I think you'll understand once we get into the game. You see, the funny thing was, is that um, I went out on Kickstarter and I backed a neat little game called, well, I, I thought it was pretty neat at the time, and um, I was kind of interested to, uh, to actually get this game and sit down and play it. It is called Hollywood 1947, and what it is... It's for one to nine players. He plays in 20 to 40 minutes. Um, it is the year is 1947. You are a member of the thriving movie making industry of Hollywood. However, there it is suspected that there are communists hiding among your small production studios, sneaking unpatriotic propaganda into your movies. Will you be able to create enough movie masterpieces before your studio is shut down, or will you be suspected yourself and banned from the industry? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, um, so you get uh, five sculpted tokens, nine carved wood loyalty tokens, nine custom star dice, nine film strips, 18 genre posters, 91 cards, 13 job, nine loyalty, nine costume, 60 propaganda, and one rule book includes brief history of the Hollywood blacklist. This is from Facade Games, and as you can see, the box itself looks like a little book. It's actually really, really neat, and... Um, when I saw this on Kickstarter, I thought, oh, how fun. This should be just a fun little game to play. I love these kind of deductive reasoning games and stuff like that. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And and um, so I thought this would be kind of a great little unboxing video to do. Um, so you're going to join me as we delve into Hollywood 1947. Um, as I said, back this on Kickstarter. Um a little while ago, and uh, I don't know if you can make it out, but the uh, the cover, um, you can kind of see that it's like used in places, like they actually made it so that it looks like it's been used. Um, and what's really neat is is that the, uh, the, the clasp here is magnetic, so no matter what, you can always move it up and down. And we have our little rules booklet. Um, and basically what it is, is um, it tells you how you play all the different cards, what they do, okay, and how you do things. So you have your production, okay, so you perform your job. You have different cards. You have a screenwriter, producer, director, gaffer, uh, cinematographer, actress, actor, composer, editor, costume designer, makeup artist, grip, and prop master. And then, um, if you don't like your job, you can swap a job with one from the center. And then you can re-roll any two dice. And then, in post, each player with a star on their die must add one card face down to the movie. And then you add one card from the top of the deck face down to the movie. You shuffle all cards and discard one card at random. And then at the premiere, you reveal all remaining cards from the movie to determine the round's winner. And then you check for congressional hearing and shake-up cards, which are um, propaganda cards. And then you draw everyone that has less than those cards. And then if you have... As soon as either team, the Communist or Patriot, has won four rounds, and that team wins the game. Um, and so it tells you like how you can do different things and all that kind of stuff. And then they have the nitty gritties, who the actress, director, editor, producer, prop master, screenwriter, the different tokens. And it gives you a little bit of a, of a history of McCarthyism and, and what they thought was actually going on back at the time of that and everything like that. So, yep, and then... You, a caster director, is seeing double. You only need one set of jobs, one to nine, so please discard or repurpose the nine duplicate job cards. So this has like a little, a little thing there. And here, I believe, are the um, yeah, these are the uh. These are the communists. These are the patriots, 
communists and then you have some uh, neutral ones that are yellow in the middle <clears throat> and I think that's if the Patriots win then you put the little blue side if the communists win then you put this side if they tie then you put a yellow on it and you play another round if memory serves it's been a while since I've actually seen how to play this thing <laughs> um, but you have a ton of different um, movie genres. So here's film noir, horror, of course, comedy, um, crime, historical, drama, monster, musical, sci-fi, um, a war film, detective film, animation. Gee, that looks familiar, doesn't it? it kind of looks like an old Walt Disney film. <laughs> a western, a documentary, sports film, a fantasy film, and finally a disaster flick. So there you go. Those are all your different genres. And basically what happens is, is that the, the director and the writer kind of decide who they want to, um, you know, like like which one they want to be, you know, for it and all that kind of stuff. And then how they want to um, make those particular, um, how they want to make that film. And how you do it is... Uh, you basically you get different cards every single turn you you have like three cards so it's a bit like um, if you've ever played um, and I mean there's kind of some different some different ones of how of how they all work but basically like they have different uh, you know different things so like here's your here's your job card so you have like here's the screenwriter the producer the director the gaffer the cinematographer the actress actor the composer the editor and then you have some duplicate cards okay because what you're gonna do is, is you're going to take those and you're going to put some of them so if you don't want a certain job you can select a different job so if you have like you, you want more, you want like four or more people in this game and if you have you know like if not every single job is filled then you can have some jobs in the center and and like if somebody's like oh, I don't really like this job so they can trade it in and pick up another card okay so they have that um, and then here's the um, loyalty cards so you have patriot and communist and then you also have the rising star okay and the rising star basically your objective is to um, you play both sides you win when um, seven movies are made and the seventh movie ends in a tie or plus one for either team so there you go and then here's all of your different um, Hollywood 1947 cards okay and so you shuffle these up everybody gets to draw one and you have Patriot cards you have communist cards you have neutral cards and you have um, you know just a whole bunch of those type of cards and basically what ends up happening is is that everybody's vying for how are these going to work so like you know, am I going to be so like basically if you if you if you look at it, the way that it normally works is is that the communists are trying to get the communist cards in. That means that you're getting communist propaganda into your movies. The patriot cards means that you're making good movies that have patriotic themes. The neutral cards means that it's neither good nor bad. Okay? It's just how it works. Okay? Um, and then, of course, we have the star dice. Um, and basically, what these dice do 
is um, you have different, they're D8s, and you have different stars on them. And if you roll stars, then you can do things that are on your loyalty card, um, or on your, on your uh, roll card. Okay? And so that's kind of the whole point um, of doing that, is to be able to, you know, have those type of cards. I'll throw the silica gel out. And so here's the Patriot tokens. These are the, they're, they're wooden tokens that are really high quality. And then here's the communist ones. And I think it's like when you when you win when you win a round or something, then you can take that and you can put it up on your on your thing. Um, and what's fun is is that they have some little stickers. So they have like a science fiction sticker, they have a horror sticker, and they have a film noir sticker. Um, and then each. Um, oh, and then they have the Rising Star token. Um, and then each person, there's a little token here. I'm not sure exactly what these were for again. Um, these might be for the different jobs or whatever, but you have these little high quality metal tokens that everybody can, can have. So you can kind of see that a little bit. They're they're kind of neat because um, they're gold and they're and they're metal, so they're fairly heavy heavy duty. Um, pretty good quality too. So um, yeah, and then like here's like here's a little clapboard token. And the clapboard actually looks a lot like the uh, the clapboard <laughs> that I have. <laughs> so, yeah, if I um, if I play this game, I'll have to pull that clapboard out and uh, bring it with me. <laughs> so, it's pretty neat. Um, and then they have. Video camera, little film. Well, it's got the little film, so you can kind of see where it's got the little, uh, it's got the little film stuff on it. And they also have um, a little film canister. Can't really see much on the back. It's not really conducive to that, but yeah, it's a little film canister. And then they have a little thing of popcorn. <laughs> Looks like a little box of popcorn. So it's pretty neat. I, I think it's a really neat game. I, I when I first saw it, I was at first I was kind of like, "Oh, that looks a little hokey." But then the more I more I looked at it, the more I was like, "You know, this is actually pretty neat. I kind of like this. This is kind of cool." So I decided to back it, and I'm glad I did because this is a neat little game, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to play with friends and stuff. Um, because what's really cool is is that you get a chance to. Um, you know, you get a chance to play in a group, and um, you know, and somebody gets to be the rising star. Somebody gets to be, you know, different things, and um, and you try to you try to just make up some different things. And what's really cool is is that the box itself. Let me um, let me pull these out here. Um, but the box itself has a nice little holder in it, so it's got a place for all your tokens. It's got a place where you can hold your your dice and your um, and your other tokens. It's got a it's got a nice little place for the cards, and then basically where these um, where these sit um, right in here like that. These um, movie cards just kind of rest right on the top like so, um, and then the uh, the Patriot ones go on top of that, and then again, I'll have to look and see what these are, um, and then 
yep you just kind of put all that stuff on and there you go and so yeah when you open it up it's like there's everything and you know it's all right there for you and all you have to do is just you know pull it out get it ready and just start playing and um, yeah so neat little game didn't take very long to unbox but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of Hollywood 1947 and um, let me know down in the comments below did you back this on Kickstarter are you interested in the game at all if you're a friend of mine pop down into the comments and say I want to play it and I'll probably see you at a game night somewhere and we'll play this game so Smash that like button, hit subscribe, drop a comment below, let me know what you thought of this video. I have two more games coming. Um, one game, so I backed three games on Kickstarter recently, okay? Um, the first game was Hollywood 1947, actually the first game that I backed since I've been off of Kickstarter for a while, um, was a game called Darkest Doom, and basically what it is is it's a, it's a province in kind of like a fantasy Europe using anthropomorphic animals. Okay, and you're in this province called Battelle, and there's a there's a there's an eclipse that lasts for nine days, and what you have to do is is you have to go and you have to complete different challenges and you complete different things, and you basically attack and you basically do things, and then what ends up happening is is that when you bring all of this together, um, it creates a, a semi cooperative, mostly competitive game where there's different win conditions, and I'll talk about that when the game comes. Um, the second game that I backed was a game called, well, actually, the second game I backed was Hollywood 1947, um, because I found it, and I thought, wow, this looks like a really fun game, because I'm a movie guy, I mean, I mean, geez, look at me, dude, I mean, it's like I have all these movies behind me, um, and so, pretty much, I wanted something that, that would, that would be fun to play, that would be easy to play, that I would be able to, like, break out at a game night, and be able to just be like, hey, you want to play something quick? Here, boom. Let's play this, and then we just be able to pull it out and play. Um, and then lastly, um, looking at a game called Find the Source. Think The Matrix meets Shadowrun, okay? Where you have sort of agents, and you have sort of different things, and pretty much your characters, your people that you play, you can have different roles and you can have different things, but you roll some D6s, and then you allocate said D6s to certain actions, okay? And then, like, the what you roll for that particular action gives you what you can do. And you can move, you can attack certain nodes, you can do certain things, and your whole point is, is that you're trying to find the source. And they had a PDF version, and they had a physical version. And so, like, if you only backed it for, like, 10 bucks, you got the PDF version but if you backed it for, like, I think it was like 50 bucks, like 40 or 50 bucks, you got the physical and the PDF. So I've had the PDF for a while. It's sitting in my closet because I honestly haven't had the gumption to sit down and try to play it yet. Um, and so I'm waiting for the physical version, which should be out pretty soon. Um, Darkest Doom isn't going to be out until, like, either later on this year or possibly beginning of next year as of filming this 2023, late 2023 to early 2024. As of filming this, I should be getting Find the Source pretty soon. In fact, I was actually expecting this game and Find the Source at around the same time because I got the the things that said, hey, fulfillment, you know, everything's in production, everything's in fulfillment, we're sending it out, you should be getting it in September. And so, here we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Let me know if you're excited for the other two games that I backed, and we will see you on the next one.